What's going on people, it's Casey from www.casey-sounds.com In this video I want to show you how to change or convert MIDI into audio Really quick tip, speed up your workflow, save CPU and yeah, just it's just good to know these little tips it's good to know so say you've got a midi part so i'm going to quickly record a midi part really quick that's your midi part so your midi file there just a four bar loop and what you want to do is highlight control and B then it will say bounce regions in place destination new track source leave or you can mute it which means um, this is your source so you can mute that or you can delete it and I'm just going to leave it for now. Oh, actually, I'll mute it so you can see what happens. Um, you can bypass the effects and plugins, which you wouldn't want to because if, if you're trying to free up space uh, CPU, then you want to have all the, the plugins and stuff that you've been using on your actual file. And you want that to, you want a new file to have all the, the effects and whatever you use on there. Um, include volume and automation. Yes, of course you want to do that. Take normalize off. I, I never bother with normalize. Just leave that off. Uh, hit OK. Let Logic do its thing. Job done. Your source is muted, and this is your new file. Nice and simple quick tip there for you guys if it's helped hit the like button hit the subscribe button i appreciate all that thank you for watching music is life peace